Welcome once again to Mount Sinai and our 12 nights of Christ. We have been celebrating every night. Have you been enjoying the music? Hasn't it been good? It's been glorious to just come these 15 minutes each night and spend celebrating Christ. Our theme tonight is meekness. And have we ever seen anyone that was as meek as Christ? The Bible talks about him being led to the slaughter like a lamb. Tonight, the Charles family is going to talk to us about meekness. And I'm looking forward to it. And I know you are too. Let's listen in to what they have to say. Today in our society, we celebrate the rogue, the rough and ready, the rugged, the macho, those who are meek and mild, possess a character too wimpy, so we think. We love lions and we dislike the lambs. But Jesus demonstrates that meekness is not weakness. It is incredible strength under control. The meekness of Christ is illustrated in his lowly birth. The manger prefigured his whole life on earth. The meekness of Christ is illustrated in his humble station highest in heaven, lowliest on earth. The meekness of Christ is illustrated in his obedience to Joseph and Mary. He was the ruler, and yet he submitted to be ruled. The meekness of Christ is illustrated in his manual labor. The Jews looked for a conqueror and saw a carpenter. The meekness of Christ is illustrated in his endurance of scorn and insult. He was the adored of heaven, but rejected by his own people. The meekness of Christ is illustrated in his earthly poverty. He possessed all things and yet had nothing not even a place where to lay his head. The meekness of Christ is illustrated in his submission on the cross, the infinitude of meekness. This was a culmination of a meekness shown throughout the ebbs and flow of a marvelous earthly life. The pen of inspiration tells us that Jesus emptied himself. And in all that he did, self did not appear. He subordinated all things to the will of his Father. When his mission on earth was about to close, he could say, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do, John 17, verse 4. And he bids us, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Matthew 11, 29, Matthew 16, 24. Let self be dethroned and no longer hold the supremacy of the soul. Mount of Blessing, page 14, paragraph 3. Let us pray. Lord, we need you to help us in following Jesus' example of true meekness that softens and subdues the heart. The language of the meek is never that of boasting. It is a heart yielded to the disposal of the Holy Spirit. Whereby exaltation of self is abandoned, recognizing that the sinful heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jesus, Take away our prideful desires. 
our self-centered ambition and our love of supremacy. Instead, replace them by enabling us to practice meekness today and we will be sure to give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen.
the master's hand. Oh, little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. Oh, Comes much when you place it in the master's hand. I hope you're enjoying everything that you hear from night to night with our 12 Nights of Christ. We are looking forward to everything that is transpiring throughout the rest of the week. And we just again want to let you know that we would like to see you as you view these themes every night to apply them to your lives, to apply them to your family's lives, and, 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 and ask God to, to bring them to fruition in your life and in the everyday things that you do. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us tonight. We look forward to seeing you on tomorrow night. So my God bless you. May God keep you. Yes, indeed.